Okay guys, so I really hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I actually decided to do this vlog on like how to vlog and etc because I feel like ever since I started putting up my vlog, a lot of people were motivated or kind of like inspired to start or just telling me like, hey, like I'm gonna start, let's collab, etc. So I just felt like, okay, well these are just good little how-to tips or um, self-confident tips um, to start your own channel. So I just felt like this would be a great vlog. So I was like, eh, why not? <laughs> I believe this is already my seventh vlog. It is so crazy. Like, this is really just a hobby. I really do appreciate everybody that has subscribed, liked, shared um, all of my vlogs. It's really appreciated, you know. I try my best to reciprocate the same energy. So if my friends start vlogs, I definitely think the first step is being confident. And I know at first it's kind of awkward because you're just talking into a camera. But then it's like, ah, okay, like you're going to get over it eventually. I too think another big tip in order to like do these vlogs or like film whatever it is that you're trying to post on YouTube. Be yourself is a very big thing. Yes, I watched other vloggers. Um... I mean, I'm talking like big vloggers. I'm talking like I watch James Charles and it's like completely two different people there. But like, I don't know, just be yourself. Like my, none of my vlogs are scripted and I've mentioned that before. So if I stutter, I just, bleh, you know, keep it going like, or just cut it off. Like, but don't be discouraged over one thing. Don't be discouraged because you don't have a camera. Don't be discouraged because you don't think you'll get a lot of views. Create it as a hobby and then eventually it'll just come easy to you. Like it came easy to me. Uh, now. <laughs> actually, believe it or not, you actually don't really need a camera to start vlogging. It's a good thing to have, but a lot of my videos I took on my actual phone. And I have the 8 Plus. I almost forgot. I have the A plus and as long as you take them sideways and you have a MacBook I believe like you should be good to go. Um, another thing is the editing. I do all of it through iMovie so yeah I think you do need a Mac. <laughs> now if you're doing the vlogs for money I'm the last person to come to for advice. All honesty I'm not doing this for money. I'm this is just a hobby like this I just do it for fun like Oh, you know, tape whatever is going on in my day and post it. Now, I definitely think there's certain things that you have to do before you start your vlog. Definitely let your other social medias, like, let it be known you're starting your channel. You know, because that way your followers will anticipate you posting a video or posting a vlog. And that way you can get more views. And you might get a little annoying or you might feel annoying because you have to constantly promote your own videos because that way like people will actually check them out make sure the links are in your bios or have your best friends um show them out i mean you shouldn't even have to ask your closest friends like it should already kind of come to them or even retweet your own tweet otherwise reevaluate who you call your friend for example, me, like, I talked to Coco about it first, and he was like, yeah, you should do it, we'll get a camera, I'll motivate you, and he did just that. We got a camera, he motivates me, he'll share my stuff, and I love my baby. But, besides the point, I also think that you have to share it on, like, even if you feel embarrassed, for example, I felt embarrassed to put it on Facebook, because all my family's on Facebook, and I'm like, ooh. I don't know if like I want them to see my stuff but then eventually it's like oh like they found it funny or they find it interesting or you know even when you feature them it's like oh like I'm on her vlog and then they get all happy and I'm like yes you are on my vlog okay now another thing that I really do suggest somebody or you should get if you're starting or starting to try like vlogging and stuff is a handy dandy planner now, my friend Amanda bought me this and it was the nicest gift ever because I really was just talking out of my ass saying that I needed a planner and she actually went ahead and got me a planner. And I'm actually really glad she did because I have all my vlog ideas written down from now up until April. And for example, we're going to New York, that's going to be a vlog. There's some challenges people want to see, that's going to be a vlog. There's going to be a Smiths vlog coming up. There's just so many ideas already that are just laid out in here. And it's good because then that way I already have content going and going and going out and in, in and out. Mm, that sounds so good. Okay, so now another thing that you also have to figure out when starting your channel is, I personally believe, you need to know 
um like a name and not just like your full-on name like i didn't want my channel to be nicole duran like no so i went based off of my social media names and all my social media names are she's just nicole for example shout out to my friend leia who started her own channel hers is imperfect kitchen so it has absolutely nothing to do with her name but obviously you just have to let it be known who you are hers for example is going to be based off of like cooking because she can cook and stuff can't wait to be on her channel now so imperfect kitchen because she's not a chef or anything but it's an imperfect kitchen like it's really cute me it's she's just nicole because like i mentioned in my very first vlog these vlogs are just going to be about me and about traveling and you know just kind of let you guys into my world so it's literally she's just nicole like and it kind of just worked out perfect like it was so exciting so another thing too youtube will actually um pick thumbnails for you so it picks three thumbnails for you you either pick one of the three that it picks for you if you don't like it you can actually take a picture and create your own thumbnail and all honesty i've let youtube pick all my thumbnails that's why if i'm not the cover of one it's either because i look retarded so i'm not gonna pick the thumbnail with me in it or because i feel like the thumbnail that youtube picked is gonna go good as like being the thumb the not the thumbnail the cover for my video so it's kind of really up to you like how you feel about your thumbnails or not but i personally just go with whatever youtube gives me because if you're telling me that i have to take a picture and make my own thumbnail it's tiring editing is not easy but do not let it discourage you neither because there's going to be plenty of things on imovie that you didn't know you could do or whatever the intros at first i didn't have one nor did i even think about having one until people were actually giving me suggestions that i should have one so that's where the intro came in where like i mentioned it's the she's just nicole and it kind of looks like um like you're trying to find the channel or whatever and so i am the least creative person you'll ever meet i'm not creative at all but when it came down to thinking of that i definitely that was all me like as far as having the idea of it now as far as it moving that was my friend lester thank you he was the one that helped me you know kind of to where it like shakes like if you're it's actually like a channel like from back in the day i definitely think another tip too is do not get discouraged by the small things by the small things i'm talking about these sites like i mentioned about views your views not being like super high um i definitely think do not be discouraged off the thumbs up and thumbs down because i don't know if you have some faithful haters out there whatever it is like somebody will eventually thumb down your shit and it's okay like it is not the end of the world if you get a thumbs down um but do not let it discourage you you know you don't know who it is who cares who it is as long as you like your vlog and it's getting views and you um and you get subscribers that thumbs down should not matter it is so irrelevant um but do not let it discourage you because i don't know my first thumbs down i was like excuse me bitch now i'm like just thumb down it if you don't like i i don't care because i'm still gonna be posting stuff so do not let it get to you do not let it discourage you as i do vlog on separate days i try my best to spend that one entire day vlogging about what I know I'm going to talk about or whatever it is that I'm going to do that I want to show you guys. Then another day just kind of spending it doing like an intro and an outro. And that's really it. That way I feel it's less time consuming and you're not spending your entire day just talking to a camera. Um, but besides that, I really hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you feel I missed anything or if you still want to know anything, you guys can ask me or DM me, message me, or comment below and I'll go ahead and answer to all of you. All my social media names are she's just Nicole, so feel free to hit me up. Again, I appreciate all of you for liking, sharing, subscribing, viewing my channel. I only do this for fun, so it's really nice to see that I have so many people that actually support it. And the next one should be coming up next week.